Hi. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. I'm still recovering. Cat. Sorry, my cat. That's crazy. Um, I'm still recovering from food poisoning. Thank you, Panda Express, for that shrimp. Um, so I had to slap on some makeup to make myself look pretty, but I wanted to give um, everyone basically kind of a look into how to bargain shop or bargain hunt, cheap hunt, however you want to call it, because I know a lot of people, especially during the pandemic, you can't afford clothes nowadays. They're ridiculously expensive. I mean, even at Walmart, a shirt is like $15. It's like, hey, it's new. Hey, well, we work on a budget, so this is what we're working with. I'm going to show you what I got at Goodwill, because that is actually one of my favorite shops. And yes, everything I do clean, I make sure it's clean. If I have to dry clean it, I don't care. But I make sure it's clean before trying it on. Because, you know, some people are not so clean. That's so first, we have this. Maybe, maybe I should just point it to you guys. It's actually really cute. I'm not big into brown, but I like the style. It's really, really adorable. I paid $5 for this. It's Antonio Milani. Um, it says it's a size 10, but you know, in the fashion world, size 10 could be like a size four, especially, you know, for them. But I'm going to try this on, show you what it looks like, you know. Okay. So like I said, it says it's a size 10. It is a little bit loose, but it's honestly very comfortable. Yeah. I'm still wearing leggings. I mean, yeah, but it's very cute. Um, not bad for five dollars right i mean <laughs> you could add a little brooch you could add a bigger belt nice gold or silver purse it would go with it okay let's go into the next one uh, okay so this one is from shoreline i know it's not as fancy and i'm probably wearing it backwards now that i just looked at that but oh well <laughs> it's actually really cute i'm pretty sure i'm wearing it backwards maybe i'm not no no, the tag's in the back. Okay, anyways, it's very cute. It'll be great for summertime if we ever do have a summer, thank you, COVID. But it's still very cute. You could wear a bathing suit underneath it. It's very colorful. It's very lightweight. I like it. I like it. Like swish, 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 swish. This one is actually one of my favorite finds because I love green. Because emerald is my birthstone. And, yeah, I still got like... It does that. It does a scrunchie on the side. But it is beautiful. I love it. I forgot to look at who it was from. Let's look together. Um, Ralph Lauren. Wow. That's, that's actually really nice for Ralph Lauren. I'd actually wear this to the Marine Corps ball. I'm not even kidding. I'd, I'd have to get it strapless, but it's really nice. So the last one, which I really, really like. Um... It's this, and the reason I'm showing it instead of wearing it is because, well, I got too much booty. So, my, my butt wouldn't fit past this. Uh, so, <laughs> until quarantine body is gone, uh, I'm just going to show what it looks like. It says it's a wedding dress. It does not say what company. It does not say what size. But it has these built-in, um, you know, like sticky bras. AR bun, AR bun, um, which I honestly think should be solid in there, not just loosely flapping around. But it's a very beautiful wedding dress. Can use that for cosplays or you know whatever I want. So that is the entailment of the things I found at Goodwill. And honestly, like I said, each one was about five to seven dollars. It's a lot cheaper than what you would find in a. I have toothpaste on me. Um, in a regular store, like, you know, it's a bargain. So don't think that if it's Goodwill, if it's a secondhand store, that everything's going to be totally disgusting and horrible. It honestly, half the time, you can find brand name stuff. You can find things that have never been used and stuff the price tags on it. And that's the stigma that I hate that they kind of put out there that a lot of people are like, I'm not shopping there. They don't have designer clothes. Give it a try. I also shop at, um, what do you call it? Once Upon a Child and I can't remember the other one. It's right down the road from Piggly Wiggly. 
Oh God, what is it? Well, it's one of those stores that carries stuff, but they have a lot of workout stuff, clothes and everything. And they have Victoria's Secret stuff for like $15 pairs of pants and $10 sports bras. You go to Victoria's Secret, you're paying like $50, $60 per pair of pants. And that's really gonna bug me. I got, I got, let me look that up real quick. Figure it out. Plato's Closet is another good place to shop. Now, granted, sometimes there are things that you're like, that should not be that price, but hey, it's a business. But literally, I have gone there and I've gone, I actually got these, like, legging type pants. They even have pockets. They're not Victoria's Secret brand, but I only paid 10 bucks for them. And they're just as comfortable. So, give it a try. Try to shop around. You need any more ideas, hit me up or give me ideas for something you want me to look for. Like, I really want to do one of those, okay, let's see if I can make a cute outfit by shopping here. I might try that. Yeah, I might try that. So, anyways. Ta-ta for now.